Hey everyone, it's Julian, and I'm going to show you today how to use Geometry Sketchpad to do uh, the Sierpinski squares um, from the summaries that are due. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you all the steps uh, and just pause the video at any time if uh, you're confused or need to go over something again. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an arbitrary line segment right here. That looks good. So I'm going to use this to make my square. And... Da -da -da. Circle there, circle there, and parallel line or perpendicular lines. And that goes there, and that goes there, and then I draw my segments. And now I have my square, so I'm going to hide everything else that I don't need. And remember, Control H is hide. Our oops, that one didn't stick. Oh well, no problem. All right, so now I have this. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to create a new parameter because I need to get my trisection points. So I'm going to go to Number and select New Parameter, and I'm going to set this equal to one third and just like that. And then I'm going to go to the transform menu and select mark scale factor. All right. I'm going to double click this point to mark it as the center and then I'm going to select the other three. And I'm going to do transform dilate. And uh, you know that was the uh, scale factor for the dilation so that gave me the one third. And I'm going to do that again uh, going around the square <coughs> marking each corner as the center, and then dilating the other three points. Okay. And notice how when I double click it, it makes it the center, so I don't have to go to mark center. All right, excellent. Those are all the points that I need. So now uh, I'm ready to make my um, polygon interiors uh, for my Sierpinski uh, construction. So uh, I'm going to select uh, the squares that I want to color in. So I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do five. So I'm going to do these four. And you can obviously choose your own. And I'll change the color in a minute so that I can make them all the same color. You can also use Control P to do the quadrilateral interior if uh, you want to. That's another option. And uh, let's do one more. Let's do. Now let's do this one. Doesn't matter which ones you pick. You can pick whichever ones you want. Uh, I'm going to make them all the same color though. I like that green. So I right click to bring up the color menu. Is that that green? That's. I don't think that's that same green. Oh, it is. Okay, great. So yeah, right-click to bring up uh, the color menu, and you want to change them all to the same color. Awesome. All right, well, now I'm ready to iterate. So I'm going to select everything, like so. I'm going to go to Transform, Iterate. And it needs to know where A is going to go and where B is going to go. All right, so A is my point here and B is my point here. Those are the two points that defined the whole square. And what I need to do is I need to map my big square into each little square. So for the first one, A is going to be right here and B is going to be right here. And you can see how it's going to do that. Um, and that's not the only one I need to do. So I need to go to Structure, Add New Map, and I'm going to do that same thing again and again in each of the squares that are still white. So I'm going to add new map. And you can see, I like how it kind of shows each time what's going on. And so I need to do that in all the white squares. So like that. All right, great. So that gives me 
uh, that so far. And now if I go to display, I can either increase or decrease the iterations. So uh, I'm going to decrease the iterations. Um, and uh, so I'm going to do two iterations. Well, let's do three. All right. Oops, dough. Uh, and then I click iterate. And there we go. Now you can see that, oops, ooh, there's a whole bunch of little line segments in there. Well, that's pretty easy. So I just click on one of the line segments, and you notice that it selects all of them, which is pretty awesome. And I control H to hide them. I'm just going to go around one square and keep doing that. And just make sure you click off anything you don't want to hide. And then this one. And then this one. And there we go. So now I can, you know, if I want to make it a little bit bigger so you can kind of see what it looks like. There we go. It's a little bigger now. And that's how you do a Sierpinski square. Uh, so it's pretty easy. The nice thing about it is <coughs> you can, uh, if you don't like the way it looks like, you know, this one's looking a little sparse, you can just delete all these right here and start over. You know, let's say you want to do like this instead. You just construct new interiors. So I'll do that one more time. I'm going to use Control P. Give me a new interior there. You can also do different colors if you want. All right, great. So that's done. All right, and now I'm ready to iterate. Again, I just select the whole thing, everything, and I go to Transform, Iterate, and I map. So A is always going to map to an upper left corner, and B is always going to map to an upper right corner. Um, so that's a good way to do it. And then, again, every time, you have to do that for every square. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five, six white squares, so I'm going to need to have six maps. And I like how each time it kind of gives you that little preview before it does that, so that's nice. And one more. You can also use Control-A to add a new map. All right. So there we go. And that's with three iterations. And I'm going to keep it at three. And I keep doing that. And I hit Iterate. And I'm done. And again, I just need to hide some line segments. <coughs> so that way it looks a little bit cleaner. And there you go. That's how you do that. So hopefully this taught you how to do uh, the Sierpinski gaskets. You can also hide the internal points here if you want, um, or any other points you want. But hopefully that will uh, get you through the assignment. So have a great day.